Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is going to be the first video of hopefully a few. We'll see how, how it goes. I've not made YouTube videos before, but I thought I would put some together because I've created a little bit of a collection of airsoft guns over the years. Um, and it'd be nice to, to put some content out there and let people know my thoughts and feelings of an honest review without any, um, certainly no sponsorship or anything like that. So we'll start with this, the WE Desert Eagle in obviously quite a flamboyant gold tiger stripe now i bought this gun used second hand on a um sr forums uk if you're interested it is actually for sale right now at the time of recording this video but likely won't be by the time you watch um i bought it because i wanted something big something flashy you know the desert eagles a uh, iconic pistol in in and of itself um i thought it was quite unique and unlike the tokyo marui uh, iterations of the Desert Eagle. This pistol is all metal, heavy, hefty, as I think a pistol like this should be. The Desert Eagle is supposed to be big and heavy and a bit outrageous, isn't it? So, first impressions when you pick it up, it is heavy. I don't have a scale here, but I would estimate it's well over a kilo, you know, maybe even a kilo and a half with with the magazine and everything included. It is hefty, it is heavy. I use it on a hip holster. I haven't found that the extra weight hinders me in any way when I'm playing, but it it is bulky, and some people may may find that. So if you if you are someone with smaller hands or someone interested in keeping the weight of your gear down, then maybe this is not for you. As you see in my hand, I've got fairly average sized hands. I mean, I haven't got huge hands, but not small either. And as you can see, I mean it's. It takes, it, it, it's quite the grip. It's not exactly, it's not compact by any means. I can hold it securely and I've never found it to be loose or difficult to wield, but it is it, it is a chunk, so definitely keep that in mind. The mag itself is just a standard green gas mag. You can get them in CO2 as far as I understand, but I've never tried one, so I couldn't comment on that. There are, it's, a, it's, a, it's I think, advertised at about 25 round capacity but i find that it's usually better to put around 20 20 something like that it will it will clear 25 on one on one fill um with the right temperature but i find 20 is enough there's some bbs in there right now actually which i'll make sure i don't put through there's no gas though so don't everyone freak out it's not going to shoot the mag itself is quite heavy it does contribute to the weight of the pistol overall on this one then, you've got the safety at the back. I have found that from placing it in and out of my holster, the safety will activate on its own sometimes, which is a little bit annoying. I have found that to be the case. Uh, maybe that's just something with my particular pistol, but something to bear in mind for sure. But it's nice and smooth. It works the way it should. It's, there's no there's no wobble there. There's no play. The Overall, the whole pistol's built very well, actually. There's no... There's no wobble or play to anything. It's it, it is nice and solid. As you can see, it's got a full travel slide, which comes back quite the distance. When you're shooting the pistol, this goes back every time, as per an ordinary full travel blowback gas pistol, which I found to be the the recoil on this on this particular pistol compared to. Others, obviously, I wouldn't go as far as to call it realistic. I mean, it isn't like firing a real pistol, but it is significantly stronger than other gas blowback pistols that I own. Definitely um, within the airsoft world, probably the most, uh, the hardest kicking airsoft pistol on the market right now, I would imagine. Don't quote me on that, but from my experience, certainly. If you let the slide forward here, you'll see. It comes, it comes forward with some... With some whack there, I don't know if you can if it translates well to video, but it really it really hammers forward there. It's very satisfying. It's good fun to use. That's it. That is all. All this pistol is really. It's 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 good fun. You disassemble with this lever on the side by just going down ninety degrees, which is a bit awkward on camera. I won't do it on camera. If anyone is interested in disassembly, do let me know and I can uh, po post 
a video about that if necessary. I'll give it another try actually, why not? Nope. I can't get it right now. But what you do is you move you move that catch. I, I, I do it all the time, but it's it's quite difficult from the position where I'm at on camera. You move that catch down 90 and the whole top slide will slide away forward and you'll underneath there you'll have two recoil springs that run the length of the underside here. And then aside from that, it's pretty much your standard nozzle assembly as you'll see in many pistols on the airsoft market. I'm sure you're all familiar with that. The, f the finish... I think it's nice. I mean, I don't know how it comes across on camera and compared to person, but it's, it's, it's quite a, I'd say it's a darker finish than it appears on camera. I'm trying to get it in the right light here, but it doesn't translate all that well. But in person, it's very, it's, it's very nice. It's, it's fairly durable. There has been some wear, as you see here, from coming in and out of a holster. I have used this pistol quite heavily. Um, you know, I'm not gentle with my guns, they're, they're to be used and I do use them. So it's, it has had its fair amount of, fair amount of rough treatment and it's, it's held up well. There's, there's the odd, the odd scuff here and there, but overall it has kept the finish very well. There's some marks there from the holster as well, but it's by no means a, a poorly applied finish. It is durable. It's, if you were to treat it with a little bit more a bit more gently than I have, I'm sure it would, I'm sure it'd last a lot longer if, if that was something you're interested in. But to me, a little bit of wear and tear only really improves the aesthetics of guns like this. It's not a war piece for me. So yeah, I found it to be really, a really good enjoyable pistol. It performs very well. I'd say it shoots at around maybe 340 FPS, depending on the gas you're using, 340, 350, somewhere thereabouts. You know, it's it it does it does shoot fairly hard for a pistol. I think because the the nozzle is a lot larger than is standard on airsoft pistols. I've heard rumors that this is the same nozzle from the WEM4. Can't confirm that one hundred percent, but that's that's what I'm told. So if so, that's interesting. That would make sense for the um, the slightly increased FPS. The Range is very really good, and I've, once you can you can hop probably up to, you know, heavier BBs no problem. I I run threes through it. I've got no doubt that you could put three twos up to four probably, and it'd handle them just fine. Accuracy is really good. You, it's just a great performing pistol. It looks it, it performs as well as it looks. It really does. Sights are quite rudimentary, quite basic, um, but I mean for airsoft it's just point and shoot isn't it really no one's at least i'm not lining up sights like this in when it comes down to to playing for real but they're there they're basic there's no illumination or anything like that but they do the job hammer's nice and solid it's metal as well so is the mag the slide release and the takedown it's all metal everything's metal triggers metal as well nice crisp trigger i couldn't tell you what the poundage or anything like that is but there's not much take there before the break and then a little bit of a spongy reset not really a click but i found it to be absolutely fine for for requirements you know you can you can shoot as quick as you can pull the trigger really it's it's not sluggish by any means um, grips, grips are quite, quite plasticky. They, they are like an ABS plastic, not really a full polymer, which it's a little bit of a shame. They feel fine. They're not creaky. They're not wobbly. They're not, you know, they, they don't take away from the pistol at all, but I do feel like if we were really nitpicking, they could be a slightly nicer quality material. But as I say, this has been treated fairly, fairly robustly and there's no, there's no damage. There's no wear. There's no nothing. So Definitely, definitely um, suitable for requirements. There's got all the trades there, Desert Eagle, Magnum Research, all the correct trades, which is nice with WE guns. I'm not sure if... It is, it is WE, by the way, manufactured WE. Cybergun distribute the pistol, but they're not the original manufacturer. 
serial number there. Don't know if that's unique or not. Might well be. If someone might know better than me, put that in the comments. So yeah, it's overall, there we have it. Just a quick overview, no script, nothing like that. Just giving you my initial thoughts. I've used this gun a lot. I find it to be really good. It's really enjoyable. It gets a lot of comments. I mean, every time I take it to a game, someone makes a comment about it. It's definitely a conversation starter. It's an eye catcher, you know, overused term. It's a head turner, all of that. If you want to be bold and flash and have something a little different, then this is this this will do it for you. It's It's great. Good fun. And there we have it. The W Cybergun Desert Eagle. It does come in silver and black, which might be more to your taste. For me, I like the gold one. That's just because it's a bit flash, it's a bit fun. But yeah, it does come in other in other in other colour schemes if you can find them out there. Yeah, just a good old overall gun. Good fun. Couldn't recommend it enough really. With that said, it is I am I am selling it, but only to make uh make some money for other projects. I've got I've got I buy and sell these type of things all the time, so yeah, there it is. Thanks very much.